as network utility was deprecated in macOS 11. In this video, we're going to take a look at a terminal command that will allow us to run a ping. Typically, we would use the ping command as a way to test whether a device on our network is reachable, which in turn can make the ping command a very handy way to monitor a device as it reboots or starts up. To run a ping, we first need to open a terminal window. Now from the command prompt, if we simply type ping and then enter the domain name or IP address of the device that we're looking for, when we press enter on our keyboard, the test will begin. As you can see, the results from our ping test will be displayed. However, the ping test will continue to try and ping a device until we tell it to stop. So in order to stop our ping test, we need to hold down the control key and then press C on our keyboard. If rather than continually pinging a network device, you want to send say five pings, if after typing the ping command we type dash C, five, then the domain name or IP address of the device that we want to ping. When we press enter on our keyboard, a report is generated that displays just five pings. The report generated by the ping test will first display the domain name or IP address for the device that is being pinged. This is along with the packet size of the pings that we were sending to that device. The results for each ping are then listed, displaying the returning packet size and the device's domain name or IP address. The next piece of information in the report shows us the sequence of the pings. So if the sequence starts to go out of order, that could be an indicator of a speed problem with the network path. TTL, or time to live, is a value within the internet protocol that tells a network router if a packet of data has been in a network too long and if it should be discarded. However, we can use TTL to determine the operating system being used by a device that we are pinging. So for example, the TTL value in our ping test was 64, which is the default TTL value used by Linux. Next, we have time, which is how long the ping packet took to get to its destination and return a response to our computer. The importance of time is really dependent on what you're trying to do. So for example, if we have a time of over 100 milliseconds and we were playing online video games, that would be classed as considerable lag. However, 100 milliseconds for a server hosting web pages might be considered acceptable depending on what was being hosted on that server. Finally, we have ping statistics, which states how many pings were sent and received along with the percentage of packets that were lost. We then have round trip, which displays the lowest ping time, the average ping time, the maximum ping time, and the standard deviation ping time. To gracefully close our terminal session, if at the command prompt we type exit, when we press enter on our keyboard, the terminal session will end. 